Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Sorry that I'm two Good minutes evening, late, but I was having problems to uh, access to the session, but I'm here. Uh, welcome worry, back. Teacher. What's today's date? Today is October 29th, 2020. Good. October 29th, 2020. Um, do you guys remember the topics we covered uh, last night? We work with the models. Past models. Past models. Mm -hmm. So remember, when before we want to use past models, past you need models. to have a very clear idea mm -hmm. of how models work in a general form. What is the model that we use when you are a hundred percent sure about something? Must. Must. <laughs> mandatory. Yeah, mandatory or when you are a hundred percent sure about something. Remember that models, uh, sometimes they have one function, but other times they have double function. In the case of must, it has double function because it's something mandatory. You must listen to your parents. You must take your medicine. You must finish on time. That's mandatory. Or when you are 100% sure about something. So um, you said he must be rich. He must be happy. Uh, he must be the luckiest uh, man in the world. So must. Uh, yes. What is the one you use for suggestions or advice? Should. 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 What is the one we use for possibilities? Could, Could may, may, and might. Could. might. Could, may, and might. What's the difference between Could. those three? Could, Could is more is. possible. Could uh, is more possible. Yes. After is may, may, and the, the last is might. Exactly. So they have exactly the same function. They express possibilities, but uh, one is more possible than the other. So, okay. Um, and what is the one we use for hypothetical situations? Good. 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 Okay. Good. Um, any questions so far about the... Um, Past models. More exercises to, yes. to practice, teacher. Yes, we have more we exercises coming. So let okay. me show you. Okay, share screen. Let me minimize this. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. yes. So we have can yes. have, must have, should have, uh, and would have. What is the contraction of would have? Would have. Would have. Would have. Would have. Would have. Would have. What is the contraction of should have? Should have. Should have. Must have. Must have. Must have. Must, must have. have. And can have? Can have. Can't have. Can't have. Can't have. Can't have. Can't have. So remember, have. yes. Can't have, must have, could have, should have, would have, must have. So they have different uh, uh, functions. Could have. So should have. can have. have. So could have, have, should have, can have. Can have. Uh huh. Might of, made of. Now have. remember, um, native speakers they use a lot of contractions. So, um, how would you say? Ella no pudo haberlo perdido. She could have lost. She have lost it. Good. She, she couldn't she have lost it. She, could she have, couldn't have lost it. But native she speakers... She could have lost it. She couldn't she have lost could it. Have. Look, uh, your daughter, she lost your favorite book. Nah, she couldn't have lost it. No pudo haberlo perdido. So she couldn't have lost it. But native speakers, they usually um, 
make double contraction. So they say she couldn't have, she couldn't have lost it. She couldn't have lost it. So uh, what I'm saying is the it. following. Um, understand how the structure works. And when you're working on your pronunciation, always use contractions. So when you use contractions, you know, uh, they become very familiar to you and uh, you use it. And when someone else is doing the same thing, you understand better. So can have, what is the function of can have? Uh, something was not logically possible. Okay. Something was not logical possible. Okay, so she can have passed the exam. She didn't study at all. No pudo haber pasado el examen because she didn't study. So logically possible, it was, it was not uh, possible that this would have happened. Now, there are other forms to pass an exam, but now must of, we're sure about something. We're sure about something. Uh -huh. How do you say, uh -huh. debieron haberse perdido? You're very sure about this. Ellos debieron haberse perdido. It must have lost. She, she must have, must have, okay. have, have lost them. Okay, listen, listen carefully. She have lost. How do they you say perderse? How do you say perderse? Lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. How do you say me perdí? I got, I, I, I got, I got lost. Now, get, got, what is the past participle of get? Gotten. 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 You can say gotten. Gotten. Most of gotten. It's, it's, it's fine. But American pronunciation, they usually say gotten, written, gotten. rotten, Latin. Gotten. So, uh, so gotten. ellos debieron haberse perdido. I heard someone, a, a British guy in the group. Okay. <laughs> gotten. Yes. Uh, ellos debieron haberse perdido. How do you say that in English? They must be lost. They must lost. They must have. Must get. Uh, they must, must be lost. Gotten, okay. Gotten. Now, now listen to this. Someone said they must be lost, and the message is exactly the same. But we need to find different structures to express our ideas. So, if you want to be very accurate and say, "Ellos debieron haberse perdido." You're, you should say, they must have, they must have gotten lost. They Remember, must have when, when we're using lost. models in past, it is mandatory that the main verb is always um, in past participle. In past participle. Okay. Yeah. So they you can say, they must be lost. Perfect. The message is clear. But if we want to go back and study the, the models in past, you said, man, they must have gotten lost. They, they must have gotten have, lost. They must have gotten lost. Okay, because we're very sure. They must They must have gotten lost. They uh -huh. must have gotten now, lost. Now, the yes. people that you're waiting for, they are very responsible and they're always on time. So what is the only explanation that you have why they're not there? They must have gotten lost. Debieron haberse perdido. You're very sure okay. about something. Okay? okay. Should have or should have, something was a good idea, but it didn't happen. Once again, mm -hmm. how do you say, uh, hubieras enviado un correo? You should have, you should have sent, you should have sent an email. Okay. You should have, you should have sent that, sent that email. Okay, you should have sent an email. So for example, you're waiting for Kais or Anda to come and repair something in your house. And you tell your friend, you know what? I've been waiting for three days and they never come. So your friend tells you, you should have sent an email. So something was a good idea, but the person didn't do it. So sending an email, imagine that in this case, sending an email is something very effective, but the person did not do it. Which is not. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're just imagining, you know, because <laughs> even going in person, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So you should have told me about the sale. 
I could have got some new shoes at a discount. Now, right there, I could have gotten, gotten, so not got, is gotten. gotten. Could have gotten some new gotten. shoes at a discount. And then we have would have or would have. Something happened or didn't happen in the past as a result of something else. If he had called me, I would have gone to the party. Si él me hubiera llamado, what would have been the, the, the result? Uh, si would have gone to the party. That's, that's something have... hypothetically. Exactly. I it's something have... hypothetical. Exactly. Yo habría ido a la fiesta. Mm -hmm. Si me hubiera llamado. That means that the person did not call. Okay, mm -hmm. any questions or comments? No? Yes, mm -hmm. we need more practice. Okay, Yes. look at the first one. If you wanted to stay in that hotel, mm. what is the best answer from those three? Uh, you should, should have, have, but before? You should have, yeah, you should, you should have, have. You should have booked it. You should have booked. But suggestion. Yes. You should have booked before. You What's the meaning of book? Booked. What's the meaning of booked? Uh, Looking for reservation. reservation. Exactly. Reservation. Make a reservation. Make a reservation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when a person goes to jail, they also book your name. Fichar. Fichar. Yeah. So, okay. What about number two? He blind committed the crime as he had both the motive and the opportunity. Would have. What is it? Would have. Would have. Would have. Could have. Yeah. Okay, in this case, you can say could have and would have. The two options are good. It all depends what your message is. So he says, he could have committed the crime. Él pudo haber cometido el crimen. Or, he would have committed the crime. Él habría cometido el crimen. Because he had a reason and the opportunity. So in that case, uh, the two options are good. Okay. Any questions on number two? No. Uh, in yes. number two, teacher, yes. it's not more um, the, the, the answer good of it can be, um, I don't know, more exactly the meaning. Okay. Because the second part, as he had both the motive and the opportunity. Right, right. Yes, I, I agree with you. The, the last two are possible, but if you were to say, Francisco, which one do you think sounds better? I would go for could have, because the compliment tells you, look, he had a reason and the opportunity. Yeah. Right. But if mm -hmm. I, I am a lawyer, I could say, I, I, I can say would have. Right, but exactly. But well, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know if, if, he do, if, if he has done it or not. Right, right. That's a very good point of view. If you're a lawyer, you say, well, he would have committed the crime, but he didn't, you know? So, good, very good. Mm -hmm. Any other questions mm -hmm. or comments in number two? Mm, no. Okay, number three, if I had known about your accident. I would have. Phoned I, you. Would have I would have would phoned have. you. Hypothetical. Yes. So the person didn't know about the accident. I would no, have phoned you. Number four, Lucy. Lucy. But we're uh, not sure. Uh, uh, may made of 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 so the made second up. one is the best option made of yes. attended the concert but we aren't sure made, exactly made of attended the concert mm -hmm. number five you made blank people. finished that book already you only started reading it an hour ago you can have you can't have you yes can. Yes, very good. You can have. Now can have. imagine it's a big book. Can and have. The person has been reading only for one hour. He said, man, can you have. can't have finished that book. It's impossible. Okay. Right? Number six, I think they blank got lost. 
Surely they'll be here by now. Mm. Possibilities. Surely they've been here by now. Uh, must have. Must have. Must have. Must have. Yes. Must have. Yes. I think they should. Oh, yeah, no. they must have gotten lost. Number seven. Oh no, my phone isn't in my bag. Made of. Might have. 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 I might have left on the train. I might have left it in the train. Yes. Mm -hmm. train. Okay. Number eight, she blank being a lawyer, but she decided to study accountancy instead. Uh, she could have. Could have. Could have. Now, uh, you can also say made of and might have. It all depends on uh, um, the level of possibility that you want to express. But she decided, so she changed the career because she wanted. So it more, it's more possible. It's yes. more possible. Number nine, you blank gone to dance party. It was fantastic. You must have. You must have. Or you, you must should have. have. You should have. You should have. No, you should have is a suggestion. It's a suggestion. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, it's a suggestion. So you should, have, mm -hmm. so you should have gone to dance party. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And number ten, I'm so sorry. I woke you up. I. I shouldn't. I shouldn't yeah. have called you. Okay. Now, how do, you, how do you say shouldn't have in double contraction? Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't, shouldn't have. have. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't so have. when you're watching movies shouldn't or you're listening I shouldn't to music, have called you. Yeah, I shouldn't have called you. Shouldn't have called you. I shouldn't have called you. Right. And this is one of the reasons why sometimes we have problems to understand native speakers because we speak uh, or we use the language the way uh, it's usually found in a book. But movies, music, uh, documentaries, they speak uh, way different than the way people speak in, in, in books. All right, um, any questions or comments about this exercise? No. Okay, so we will no. continue practicing. <laughs> right, right. How do you say you hubieras traído sombría? You. You should have. 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 How do you say tú hubieras corrido? You shouldn't have run. You, you, you shouldn't have run. You shouldn't have run. You shouldn't have run. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have run. You shouldn't have run. You shouldn't have run. Yes, you shouldn't have run. You shouldn't have run. You shouldn't have run. No hubieras corrido. You shouldn't have run. How do you say no hubiera dicho eso? You shouldn't have. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have that. told me that. that. You okay. shouldn't have said that. Right. Have said that. Okay, observation. What's the difference between say and tell? Uh, say you say tell is, is to speak and tell is uh, when you express something to another person. Okay. Is someone, tell is when, um, when someone is telling you something like is is saying is saying to you something some some i don't know some information and say is when you are saying when you are say when you are telling the information <laughs> i don't know how to say how to explain it okay uh, someone else wants to explain the differences between say and tell i know Think say that? is more general and no, no, tell think is think. more specific to to a person. Exactly. So say is very general and tell is when you mention the listener. 
She told me, she told us, she told my sister. The newspaper says, the radio says, so say is general and tell is when you are mentioning the person receiving the information. So how mentioning the subject. The, the listener, the listener, oh. yes. So how do you say, no hubieras dicho eso? You shouldn't have said that. 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 Uh huh. Okay. You shouldn't have said that. Uh huh. Exactly. Or something very typical from your mom or your dad. No te hubieras mojado. You shouldn't have. How do you say mojar? You, you, sh you, you shouldn't have, you, you shouldn't you, have, you have got it wet. wet. I, I have a question. You, you shouldn't like, got it get wet. Yeah. You shouldn't have. I, 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 I have a question. You shouldn't have wet. Gotten uh, wet. I, I have a question. Wet. Gotten, yes, gotten wet. wet. Give me a second. Gotten right. wet. So you say, okay. you shouldn't have okay. gotten wet. Now, what do you tell your little brother or your little son? No se moja. You say, don't. Get wet. Wet mm. is mojado. Get wet is mojarse. Mm. So, no te hubieras mojado. Look, you shouldn't have gotten wet. Gotten wet. Gotten wet. Okay. Eduardo, what is your question? Okay, yeah. Okay, Mr. But, Mr. You, you also can, you wouldn't say that to me. Uh, one more time. You also can say, you wouldn't say that to me. To me. You wouldn't have said that to me. No me hubieras dicho yeah, eso. Yeah. No me habrías dicho eso. Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. And, and if you are... Uh, it's, it's, it's similar of should. Uh, it depends. Uh, because when you're saying should, you are asking for something yeah. that should have happened, but the person didn't. Me lo hubiera dicho. You know, you should have told me. Now, if you say, you would have told me, usted me habría dicho. No se preocupe. Yeah. No. Yeah, you can, but the message is a little bit different. Do you remember okay. that famous song, Must Have Been Love? Yes. yes. Yeah. Must Have Been Love. Roxette. Yeah, hearing a song. Uh -huh. How do you say that song in Spanish? Must Have Been Love. Debía haber estado enamorado. Must have been love. Debió haber sido amor. Must have been love. Debió Must haber have sido amor. Love. So, for example, you said, oh, they were together for 25 years. My goodness. Must have been love. Debió haber sido tuvo amor. Que ver, tuvo que haber sido amor. Right. Yeah. Tuvo que haber sido amor. Debió haber sido amor. Must have been love. Okay. Anyways. Must have been love. Must have been love. How do you say, debió haber dolido? Must have, must have hurt. Must have hurt. Must have hurt. How do you say, debió haberte llevado mucho tiempo? Must have, must have took you. Took yeah. or taken. Taken. Must have taken a long time. You must have taken a long time. Most, yes. most have been taken. Most have taken a long time. Yes. All right. Any other questions or comments? No. Okay. So here we go. Um, we go to the speaking part. Remember that... Um, we don't have classes on Monday, but we will have classes Friday. So you guys will have a long weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But next week we go from Tuesday to, to Friday. Friday. Yes. Teacher, okay. classes are okay. from Monday to Thursday, right? Yes, sir. Except okay. next week because uh, Monday is a holiday. What is the yes. holiday on Monday? Day of the death. 
Okay, someone else knows the name of that uh, holiday? <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> okay, so you call it all, how do you say almas? Soul. 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 Yeah. Yeah, All Souls Day. All Souls Day. Yeah, El Día de las Almas, Souls Day. And, 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 and they celebrate also in, 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 in USA this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they celebrate oh, Souls yeah. Day. Now, if oh, you yeah. translate uh, like what we have in El Salvador, Mexico, Guatemala, you will say Day of the Death but maybe a native speaker will need an extra explanation like day of the dead, you know, instead of souls day. Oh, souls day, okay. So, mm -hmm. all right, so don't forget, we don't have classes on, on Monday, but we will have classes next Friday. So mark okay. your agenda. Okay, so sure. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a second. Okay, can you see my document? Yes, I yes. can. What is the name? Jokes. Yeah. Jokes, yes. Do you like jokes? Yes, I do. Okay. It so, depends. Yeah. Yeah, some people say, you know what? I don't like jokes, so nobody can play jokes on me. Any I like sense. memes. You like who? Memes. Memes, yeah. Memes yeah. are cool. Yes. Memes are cool. Okay, nine to 10. Teacher, uh, business meeting. Sorry, I'll be in training from seven to 10. All right, good. Um, mm -hmm. Send this here. So you can take a screenshot. Or if you prefer, you can use the one that I'm sending to the WhatsApp chat and break our rooms discuss those questions here we go page is loading <laughs> okay, let's see. What kind of jokes are there? So the two Guillermos are in the same group. Yeah, yeah we have tocayos. Right. How, how do you say, say tocayos? Uh -huh. How do you say tocayo in English? I don't you, know. You say namesake. 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 Let me write it in the chat. S A K E. Yeah. Namesake. Okay, namesake. namesake. I didn't know that. Thank you. Okay, good. Me too. Me either. Me either. So, All right. so we can say that we are namesake? Just yes, like, like you that. are. You are namesakes, yes. Okay, namesakes. Okay. Yes. Included, right? We're namesakes, yes. No.
<laughs> for me, in my case, no, <laughs> because someone sometimes eh, the people who are joking is very cruel. 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 Oh, okay. cruel. It's very cruel. 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 And they they joke with your physical, your physics. Yeah, with your looks. With, oh, with your looks, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's then, why, yeah. yeah. Number yes. four, is it, are there sexual and racist jokes in El Salvador? Yeah. Yes, yes a lot. Uh, yeah, both of them, sexual yeah. and classics. Yeah, especially yeah. about, I don't know why they mention black people a lot. Yeah, it's true. Um, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Why yeah. are you quiet? Why well, I don't hear you. Why are you guys quiet? Um, we were trying to uh, say the, the questions, but I think Eduardo couldn't hear you. Hear us. Oh. Okay, now, now, okay. Now, uh, now I can hear you. Okay. okay, we were talking about the number three. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read. I'm going to read. Can you okay. take a look? Okay. I remember. I remember one. It is still is still on television. It co is it's called uh, Married with Children, and it's a sitcom about a man who is called an anti-hero because everything bad happened to him, especially with his family. Uh, his wife apparently don't, doesn't love him. Yeah, their okay. children, yes, their children kind of hate him. Even, <laughs> even his dog is not, <laughs> you know, it's, it's and, and everything is very cruel because yeah. he, <laughs> he, he is a shoe salesman he hate his life also <laughs> and he make uh, other people um be how how to say uh, angry yeah it, upset it, yeah especially he he had a, a real problem with his neighbor <laughs> and with his customers especially with uh, <laughs> Fat girls. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah, program like, was uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, good program. Yeah, it, yeah, it's very good. I think so. But he, the, 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 all the sitcom have like a very cruel jokes. Yeah. And, and sometimes maybe not dirty, but yeah, sometimes uh, it's yeah, out of the line. Right. Seems uh. How do you say esconder? Hide. Hide. They hide the the shoes of, of other other classmates, and <laughs> it was funny. True. Did you used to play jokes when you were in school? No, I I don't. I I didn't, but I I I saw. <laughs> many jokes but same here I, I was part of the public <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you were enjoying the show for free yeah <laughs> no, no paying uh -huh, no paying. with a free ticket uh -huh. <laughs> you know when, when i was uh when i was in school in like seven or eight grade i, I used to be um i used to be part of all the jokes in in, in school well, not anymore. <laughs> we were talking uh, about the kind of jokes that we like and we dislike. Uh -huh. And we think there are so many jokes that are really funny, but we need uh, are not about um, maybe uh, nicknames that talk about uh, any part of your body that you maybe don't like. or Right. Right. Uh, racist jokes or sexual jokes 
uh, when they are not, they are not uh, about it, we enjoy it. Right. Yeah, they, there is a lot of sexual and, and racist jokes in yeah. El Salvador, you know, like, uh, and when, especially the ones that are about sex, I mean, like, they're like color yeah. red, you know, like really yes, red. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so. We agree. Okay. He cry, cries for the, the joke. I Hi, think. teacher. Hello. Hi. Which question are you discussing? Uh, uh, if we if we like the jokes. <laughs> okay. And, uh -huh. and what is the answer? What is the answer? Uh, uh, one, no, uh, not totally. Not totally. I I like the jokes. I because uh, I explained my friends when I was at college. Uh, I saw. Um, some group of friends that suffered a lot for the jokes that other friends um, made made them and right. was horrible and right. I I didn't like that situation. Yeah, yeah. They some jokes were so bad, you know, that it, it became not a joke but bullying, you know. Yes, so, yes. And nowadays, bullying you can even be prosecuted for if you're bullying someone too much you know but times change yes yes, times yes. Change. because the line between a joke and bullying i think is very short exactly very thin. exactly, very, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. so huh <coughs> <coughs> All right, any questions or comments about jokes? No questions, no comments. All right, so let me ask you, how do you practice your listening, uh, your English listening skills? What do you do? For example, I am listening the videos and the audios in the platform. Good, all right, someone else? Hi. Have you ever seen these videos on TikTok when you when people just uh, repeat the, a phrase or, or or script for a of a of a series or something like that? No, no. Like like for example, there is I, I like to see uh, um, this program Rick and Mori, and and I start to practice uh, some kind of uh, dialogue that Mori says to a woman who is in the bar. And like that, I practice my listening good. and my pronunciation. Good, good, <laughs> nice. Uh, that, Sounds like a joke, a woman entering a bar. Yeah, so you know, that is uh, authentic listening. Remember, authentic listening is when you expose yourself to movies, music, documentaries, and the TikTok um, video that you're mentioning, that's authentic, right? Someone else wants to share how you practice your listening? Sitcoms. Sitcoms. Always sitcoms. Yeah, sitcoms are really cool. Yes. Yeah. Movie trailers. Okay, what is a sitcom, Herbert? 
Uh, sitcom is a television series about uh, situational comedy. Are very, very uh, famous, and most people don't know how, uh, the the real name. For example, uh, Friends, uh, Two and a Half Men, the the Big Bang Theory. Those are sitcoms. Modern ah, Family. Okay. Modern okay. Family. Yes, uh, uh, all oh, okay. of those are sitcoms. Yeah, yeah, sitcoms documentaries, music, television, everything where they use the language in a very natural way helps mm -hmm. you a lot. Okay, yes. so let me play an audio. With the first audio, uh, I want you to pay attention to it. <clears throat> Sorry. And, and see how much you understand. So let me, let me get this ready. Jokes are history, and where's the audio? It's right here. Part two. Can you hear the audio? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. here we go. All right. Building skills. Speaking. Exercise S1. Concentrating on individual consonant sounds. One. Peter called us up and invited us for supper. What did he say? Peter, that called, Peter called him for playing soccer. Okay, listen again. Do you remember a synonym for the word dinner? How do you say la ultima cena in English? Supper. 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 Yeah, supper. yeah that, that's what he's saying for, for, for. Okay, listen carefully. Invited for a supper. Listen carefully. Exercise S1 Concentrating on individual consonant sounds. One. Peter called us up and invited us for supper. What did he say? Peter called us up and invited us for a supper. Exactly. Yeah. Peter called us up and invited us for supper. Now, can Not someone enough. explain the difference between dinner and supper? Um, supper, I, supper is like more, more special. It's more like yes. for a special dinner for an, an special and. Special, special occasion. Event. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, like, like Thanksgiving, event. for example. Exactly. Exactly. So we have dinner every day at 8 o'clock. That's your dinner. But if you're having a dinner for a particular reason, celebration or something, then it's a supper. Good. Next one. Five. Sp Three, the children went on a scavenger hunt and the victorious team was given a prize. What did he say? What's the meaning of scavenger? Okay, does anybody know the meaning of scavenger? Scavenger um, is su nave de rapiña. Um, okay. Ha have, you heard, have you heard about open season? Yes, it's What's when someone, uh, people so hunt, uh, hunt, huh? hunt animals to right. in, in, Legal. in woods. Legally. Yeah, legally, yeah. Exactly, so listen again. Three, the children went on a scavenger hunt and the victorious team was given a prize. Uh-huh. It's telling about a, a team that hunting a, team. that animal What's and they a have prize? a victory. Okay, okay, you're summarizing it. Okay, listen again and, and try to take notes. And drove to their hideout, but they were eventually caught. Three, the children went on a scavenger hunt and the victorious team was given a prize. The children went 
it was scavenger hunt. From scavenger hunt. And the victorious and team hunt. was given a prize. And the, Good. And the victorious team uh, was given a prize. Exactly. And the victorious team was given a prize. Good. Was given a prize. Four. The dog followed the caddy around the golf course. The dog followed the cat. No, the, the caddy. The, the caddy is the is the 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 the, the little car person. Who, yeah, the little car that yeah, you the use in the golf camp, the, in the golf yeah. field. Exactly. So, what exactly did she say? That the dog followed the caddy to the around the golf course court exactly around the golf course yes very good five schools can do more to encourage students to take on the responsibilities of learning what did he say who have to do more to encourage the students Take more responsibilities. Uh huh. On what? Oh, I can't remember. Very <laughs> good. Okay, listen again. You're doing good. Five. Schools can do more to encourage students to take on the responsibilities of learning. Oh. Uh huh. To take their responsibilities on learning. Oh, Exactly. Uh, uh huh. The he said that to more to 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 encourage. teach them. Encourage. encourage. Yeah. Encourage. More responsibility he on said the learning. That school should have encouraged the students for a uh, take more responsibility. Take more responsibility. Take more responsibility of her stu the studies, right? Learning. Oh, learning. Yeah, learning. Okay. Good. And here we go with the last one, because I skipped uh, number two. Listen carefully. Concentrating on indivi individual... Two. Here we go. The robbers escaped in a stolen cab and drove to their hideout, but they were eventually caught. What did she say? They drove stolen a cab and they were eventually caught, but I... Okay. The robber stole a ca taxi and, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. And, and drive for the highway or something like that and drove for the highway. But. Yeah. Okay, listen carefully. Two. The robbers escaped in a stolen cab and drove to their hideout, but they were eventually caught. The uh -huh. robbers escaped in a stolen cab. And drove. And drove for the highway, but they were eventually caught good so the robbers escaped on a stolen okay, cab, uh -huh. on a stolen cab and, drove and drove to their hideout but they uh -huh. were eventually caught hideout hideout yes yeah. hideout exactly Escondite. yeah exactly Escondite. right so um what's the meaning of the word eventually eventualmente not it exactly happened. So, for example, if I tell you, if you go to the gym every day, eventually you will change your body. In algún momento? Uh, it dep depends of time to do it. In consequence, maybe. Okay. So, let's say, if you save money all the year, eventually you will be ready for Christmas. Something that is going to happen, for sure. So, eventually means at the end. At the end, at the end. Something that sure. so something that will happen uh, in a few years, in uh, many yep. years. So al final, so eventually. Uh, this this meanings this meaning is for everything. Yes, I mean, always. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, for example, you say that uh, uh, my parents they were together for forty one years, but eventually they got divorced. Okay. So, so if, if, if I want to express the, the, the thing I say eventualmente, which word will be... Sometimes. 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 Yes. Okay. Right. So remember that that's a clear example of uh, 
false cognates. False, because, uh, false friends. <laughs> yeah, because eventually looks very similar to the word eventualmente, but it's not eventualmente. So that is a, a, a false cognate. Do you remember the meaning of the word cognate? No, I, I don't. Let me see it. Cognate. Can you see the chat? Yes. So yes. a cognate is one word that exists in two different languages. Person, persona, doctor, doctor, hospital, hospital. If they have the same meaning in both languages, it's considered to be a true cognate. Mm. If the word exists in two different languages and it has different meaning, it's a false cognate. Like false eventually, cognate. eventualmente. It's not eventualmente, it's at the end. Okay. Can you think about other words that look similar to Spanish, but they, they're not the same? Actually, 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 exactly. Actual. Actually, it's not actualmente, right? Mm -hmm. When do you use actually in English? Um, maybe when when we want to remark something, actually, or right, right. When you want to remark something, when you want to clarify something, clarify something. Yeah. When you want to correct somebody, yes. Okay, so. There are words, you know, if you compare English and Spanish, 60% of English and Spanish are cognates. So that is good for us because um, even if you don't know the language, when you read, you, you understand because 60% of what you're reading already exists in your mother tongue. All right. Mm -hmm. Any questions or comments? No. So, are you going to any graveyard on um, on Monday? Uh, I'm Maybe not sure. I think possible. I, will do it. Um, I think I will, we we, um, we with my family we are going to Usulután. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that where you're from? I might go with my family. Okay. Usulután. So your family is from Usulután. Guillermo. I guess he lost connection. Anybody yeah. else going to uh, uh, to the graveyard on, on 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 Monday? Yes, I am going to go, but on Saturday. Okay, right. Because yeah. I don't want to be with a lot of people. Exactly. Yes, it's a, a better idea go to Sunday or, or Saturday. <laughs> right, or maybe after, but not. The uh, second, exactly, because, you know, it might be crowded. It could be dangerous. Yeah. They, they, they have set some rules, I think, for that specific day, like right. you can uh, stay at the graveyard for one hour only. Exactly. You have to be no, brief. No kids, no kids, no pregnant. Oh, right. Exactly. Yeah, so they have restrictions this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. no elderly people. So. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? Teacher, yes, I didn't sir. get the question. Can you repeat that, please? What question? About the Monday. Oh, if somebody is going to the graveyard on Monday. To the graveyard. 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 Can, can graveyard. you type it for me? Sure, sure. Can somebody explain the word graveyard? It's a place when you bird people you love. Oh, okay. Yeah, so graveyard is a synonym of cemetery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is 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 that is the same cemetery, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same. It's like yeah. when we say in Spanish cementerio or panteón. We're we're talking about the same thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right? All right, thank so you. thank you for your time once again. Enjoy your long weekend, and I'll be seeing you on Tuesday at the same time, 9 p.m. Have a good night. Thank you, All teacher. Right. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Good night, Have a good night. everybody. See you later. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.